want to get to know the three contenders for the Porsche Carrera Cup North America Championship presented by Cayman Islands. What better way to get to know Sepp Prio, Parker Thompson, Kai Van Berlo than to strap him into the 911 and take him out for a hot lap. Let's go guys. All right, Parker, so you're in the hunt for the championship. What do you think you need here in the next couple of races to, to get the job done? Well, I'm a little bit behind more than those guys are. Now, the nice thing is I'm fighting against teammates, so I'll let them worry about each other and uh, hopefully strike when it counts. It's going to take wins for me, though. Well, but it's a good place to be in. How do you feel about the one make series, Porsche, uh, how the championship has gone, what you've learned? I think with the new introduction of the 992 car, North America was the first place to get it. So we had the flagship of developing the car, which was a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. And One Make series, um, you know, I've driven One Make my whole career. And the reason for that is uh, you're in the same car as the other guy. So it makes it a lot easier to, uh, for the cream to rise to the top. What are your strong points if you look at your competition here, you know, going towards the end of the season? I think Racecraft has proven my strongest point starts, restarts, and then uh, how I defend and how I attack. You know, I haven't qualified on pole yet. My team still gives me a hard time about that because there's, <laughs> unfortunately, there's a lot of points for pole in Carrera Cup. So obviously, <laughs> I probably need to qualify on pole a few times to, uh, to get those points back towards the end of the season, and we're working on that. But I think the strong point is I've been the most consistent guy at the front. You know, I haven't had those, uh, those big points loss weekends. So my thing, hopefully, my fingers are crossed, uh, it rains a little bit, because that'll throw an extra curve ball. So what I'm hearing is we need yellows, lots of restarts, and some rain. Perfect. That'll get the job done. done. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> and I think I should uh, try and qualify and pull more often. <laughs> That'll make the team happy. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, man. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. You guys got to hang on. Hello. How's it going, Seth? Good. Yeah? Good, man. I've never been in a 911, actually. Yeah, this is a nice car. Yeah. Not, not as nice as your cup car, but <laughs> nice car. Nice bit of kit. So, Seb, you're in the, well, you're not in the hunt. You are leading the championship. So, talk to me a little bit about your strategy here for these last couple of races. I think just same mentality as, as before. Go out there and uh, push hard. You know, I think as soon as you start wanting to think about the championship, your intensity and focus drops a little bit, and you just got to go out there and push as hard as you can. Uh, obviously, yeah, I, I don't want to have a DNF, I don't want to make any silly mistakes. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, I think at Road Atlanta, that's probably where I'll be a bit more like, right, I don't need to go for the win if I don't need it. But still for this weekend, I'm going to go for it if it's there. And then talk about your competition. So right now, it's, it's kind of a, a three-way fight. Where do you think you stack up against them? Personally, I think qualifying for me has is, is been my strength all year. For some reason in the race, I've, I've, I think I've pushed a little bit too hard on the tyre to begin with. and you know, I haven't kept that momentum up. So and I think due to a bit of focus as well during the race, just got to keep that focus up. Um, I think that's the main thing, but I think like the qualifying, I always seem to, to be able to do the lap and with the pressure. Yeah, so you like having the pressure on you when it's time to, when it comes time to perform, you, uh, you like that feeling? I think, you know, it's a very privileged thing to be under pressure, you know, um, being under pressure, is, not everyone has that kind of feeling. So once you've had that, it's, yeah, it's, Live, it's just in the moment. You can't think about anything else except the road in, in front of you. So it's, it's amazing. Awesome, man. Well, good talking to you and good luck this Thank weekend. You. Thank you very much. And for the rest of the season. Look forward to it. Yeah, man. You know, you're one of the three contenders for the, you know, for the championship. Talk to me a little bit about you know these last couple of races. Uh, we've had a really strong opening couple of rounds of the season. We've been pretty much first and second throughout the first eight races of the season. Lately, we've had a couple of bad races, which is a shame because we were leading by quite a bit, and now we lost obviously a lot of points and the lead in the championship. However, uh, my approach for the last couple of races is now just you know uh, I don't want to say all or nothing, but uh, that, that's more or less the way I see it at this stage. It's not that I'm gonna drive reckless or anything like that, but I will 
try to use every possible opportunity and, and that's what we need. The big battle with your, uh, with your teammate, does that make a difference? Is it different fighting with your teammate over the championship versus a, a guy in another team? I think the team dynamic is in the end very healthy. I'm uh, happy with, with Sepp as teammate. I think we learn a lot from each other throughout the season regardless of the championship and the way things end. a very healthy dynamic in the end even though once we sit in the car you know it's just both of us on our own. But uh, yeah, we're having a good time together. What have you learned this year um, from racing in Carrera Cup, one make series? It really comes down to you know what you as a driver, what you can do together with the team. Uh, how do you like that environment? Uh, I love cup racing just for one reason, because the cars are so similar that every team has to, and the driver, it's so much attention to detail to get up front. I see how much effort the team puts in, in getting the cars right, the setups right, and that's what we do, do as a driver as well in the end. Uh, it's all about finding the little details in the end and that makes a difference and uh, then out on track you know you've got the same car so racing is like super competitive and and it's just fair it's just uh, it's just hard but fair racing and that's what I love about Carrera well thanks for sharing the ride with me and uh, good luck this weekend and good luck in the championship you too mm. can you do some donuts I was gonna say I feel like we need to scare him a little bit you should do some donuts <laughs>